Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Derek Fisher. We had another comfortable, great summer day, but we're watching some changes. Some clouds starting to move into the area, and we're watching this system, in particular the part of it that's down in here. And we're looking at whether or not this can turn the corner enough to bring us some heavy rainfall on Friday. Now, there's certainly a good possibility. And because of that, the Weather Service has put out a flash flood watch in southeastern Mass and Rhode Island, where we could see some of the heaviest rainfall on Friday morning. It'll be a very close call between whether that rain might just come up across the islands, the south coast, or come all the way up into the south shore as we head through the course of Friday. So the biggest issue would be for some flash flooding on the roads, heavy rainfall. There could also be a water spout or spin-up tornado along the south coast tomorrow if that system can get far enough northward. So definitely some things to watch. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy, mild. Temperatures will hold in the 60s, a little bit muggier than these last few nights. And then we'll watch that rain approach tomorrow morning. I think the main time frame to watch here is going to be about 7 o'clock in the morning until early afternoon. Watching that rain start to press up across the area, there's a good chance this will kind of contract down and really focus toward the south coast, the Cape, the islands, with some lighter rain possible around Boston heading up into New Hampshire. And then all of that would be moving offshore as we head toward the 4 o'clock hour, a drier evening, even some breaks of sunshine as we head toward the afternoon. And with that sun, high temperatures will get up into the 70s. So it'll be warmest where it's driest and the best chance of sunshine as well, north and west of Boston. Coolest where we have more rain, more of an onshore flow, closer to 70 degrees on the Cape and the islands. Then as we look towards Saturday, a clearing cold front is going to move through. With it, a chance for a couple of scattered thunderstorms during the afternoon, and a couple of those could be strong to severe. So we'll have to watch the skies on Saturday afternoon. Once it passes by the evening, we're drying out. We're bringing in less humid air, and a great looking Sunday is going to follow. So we're just dodging a couple of storms on Saturday. Temperatures well up into the 80s, still very muggy. Then on Sunday, we have less humid air, lots of sunshine, and high temps in the low to mid 80s. So when it comes to humidity, it's muggy on Friday and Saturday, but by Saturday evening, it's already getting less humid. Then Sunday and Monday are looking very dry for this time of the year. So here's your seven day outlook and just keeping a close eye on the weather tomorrow. Good day to wake up in the morning, see where that heavy rain's tracking. It's going to be a really thin band of very heavy rain. A couple scattered storms on Saturday, and then our next chance of storms pulls into town on Tuesday afternoon.